so continue. Um, so the next section is Mihila. So Mihila is uh, forgiveness, right? We ask forgiveness. The, the obligation. So it's probably a big section. Yeah, the obligation. The Gemara in Yoma 85b writes that any sin committed against another person is not forgiven even with the day of Yom Kippur until the sinner asks forgiveness from a person that is he wrong. In truth, this applies throughout the year. A person should add others to uh, forgiveness at the first opportunity after committing the sin. So before, okay, so let's try to understand. So um, Yom Kippur can help only for the sins between us and Hashem. So, and even if other, other like uh, if we wrong someone and we ask uh, that person forgiveness, uh, we have to still ask forgiveness of Hashem because Hashem for sure in his holy Torah, he told us not to do that, whatever we did, whatever it says many, many times, like in read, we read in Hafiz Chaim, how to not to wrong other people, right? So a uh, person did, so he did two Two ways. First, he went against another person, and the second, uh, he went against Hashem. So this, uh, if other person forgives you, right? So the second part is uh, is ask for, ask forgiveness of Hashem, right? So, but but Hashem will not be able, and he Hashem is His greatness. He limited Himself, and He said, "I cannot forgive you." So I, I know in church they say, "Yeah, yeah, you can uh, you can do whatever you want. You can continue hitting your your wife." And, okay, but uh, if you Keep on coming. They put uh, like uh, fifty bucks every time you hit your wife. There is no problem, right? But uh, that's that's not it's it's uh, like man made uh, made religion, right? So Hashem said, "I cannot forgive you." You go to that person, and in Hil Teshua, we actually describe the, the the process of how to ask uh, forgiveness of another person. So you come to a person and said, uh, "Please forgive me, whatever." Whatever you did to that person, that person said, "I don't want to see your face." Okay, he, he, okay. So you have to come again, or uh, so if if person seriously does not want to look at you, so you, you get somebody from his friends or her friends, get her family, her her uncle, your I don't know, aunt, your mother, your brother, whatever, somebody, and come come is that people, right? Because the uh, Rambam right. So maybe to uh, like uh, in, in front of that people, that person would not be so so arrogant and like not not so un, unforgiving. So maybe because uh, because of them, they would uh, they would be more uh, more forgiving, right? So and and you you have to try at least three times, at least at different circumstances, right? So if you try three times, and uh, there is obligation on the person to forgive others. So if that person does not want to forgive, that's it. I mean, uh, you you clean. So the the sin is up, uh, actually on that person because it's uh, one of the six hundred thirteen mitzvahs not to uh, not to hold grudge. Okay, somebody is uh, so somebody is sincere. If 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 that person has to like do restitution, whatever that person uh, did to you, okay, you you can ask for that. There is no problem. You don't have to f forgive somebody who stole your. Uh, I know car and uh, like uh, reacted and uh, and uh, and you you didn't have insurance. Let's say I'm just making up case and say I'm sorry. No no no. You said no. Look, I've been I've been saving for this car for ten years. Let's say I'm just making up the case, right? So okay, give me the money. Give me the money. Do do the payments. I buy the car on I don't know, on on your name. Make me make the payments and I'm going to drive it like something like that, right? So you you cannot just say forgive me. So it it, it must be reasonable. You understand so but uh, even if somebody like pay you back and did all of this and give you gifts so one one part of um, of uh, this um, mehila right so it's uh, to 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 do all of this restitution and then you have to like for example the car was like let's say fifteen thousand dollars and not new car so they pay you fifteen thousand dollars let's say Right, but it's not enough. So that's only only for that part, but only to uh, but also to appease the person. Appease, I don't know, like uh, buy cakes, I don't know, buy buy some some good things. Do do some good things for that person to appease. Right, it's not uh, it's not so simple. But uh, if after the third time this uh, the, the, this person is unmoved, so it's uh, up to uh, it's uh, it's uh, it basically on their head. 
unless it's a great rabbi, and unless it is a Talmud Chacham, in that case, <laughs> you have to ask uh, Rambam said up to, like, oh, no, he said even, no, not, not up, even 1,000 times. 1,000 times if you don't do every day, so you can see it could be like uh, 10 or 20 years. Okay. So be careful not to insult Tomidei Chachamim. Okay. So that's uh, like introduction to this topic. A person should ask uh, that to forget. Uh, so, okay. And so, like sometimes, I'm, I'm sure all of you experience also, like sometimes, like uh, so people send broadcasts, like message to probably to the whole phone book, P please forgive me all the text. Like I, I usually ignore, I never reply to this because it's not sincere. Like uh, maybe he offended me, maybe he did not offend me, but it's fake. That's now. That's not how you you you, you ask forgiveness. You understand? Um, okay. Oh, and of course, <laughs> authors say a person should ask uh, others for forgiveness at the first opportunity. You not not uh, don't wait until Yom Kippur. First opportunity. Yet, if the sinner honestly cannot find the time to seek uh, uh, out. The person she wronged, right? She may delay it until the first opportunity she she has. Okay, so you were busy, kids, this and that. Okay, but now, like a, a month later, you have time, so do it now, as soon as possible. However, during the days of leading up to Yom Kippur, a person must make uh, it her business to seek out all those who she's wrong and ask them for mehila. So, and usually people in this uh, this time, like. Uh, they 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 are more more forgiven usually. So I would, of course, don't wait till the last minute. Maybe they 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 they're going to go away for this for the holidays. I don't know whatever. So don't wait till the last second. Okay. Mm -hmm.